Hi everyone, I'm Jason and welcome back to my class. Today we will explore how to use the walkthrough editor to enhance the presentation of a project. Okay, typically these features are designed for commercial display purpose. And after rendering a panorama, we can leverage these features to convey additional information. For instance, the beautify, they can adjust the picture's parameters. We can choose the different filters to apply on this scenario to create different style of these uh, pictures. Okay, and also we can add some hotspots, like these hotspots are uh, labeled that represent corresponding information. You'd like you can add with the text, link, and images behind these labels. Okay, and also we can apply with two different scenes on the same screen by using the scenario marketing. So you can just compare the sync effects of real and virtual views and different styles of the spaces in the single space walkthrough tool with the same perspective view. So our class will consist with this part. I will show you how to set up these features in our walkthrough editor, and then I will show you how to generate the VR tool, okay. So through our class, it will enable you to proficiently utilize the commercial display tool, walkthrough and the VR tool to enhance the project presentations. Okay, so let's just start our class. Before the class, I wanna show you what walkthrough can do. Okay, we can choose one of these walkthrough and it's already been set up. Okay, so we can click view. So as you can see, after we open this walkthrough, you can just see this project from different angle, right? It's a 660 degree angle. And also you can see there are some labels in this scenario. When you click it, it will show with some information like the text and also with the link, you can open the website, right? And there is a picture icon when you click it, it will show with the picture. That's what these labels can do, okay? And also, when you click this label, you can change this product. It will show with another models in this scenario, okay? And also, you can just open this product hotspot. You can just click it and select different products, and it will also show in the same scenario, okay? Choose it and then you can replace it. So these two features, it's a little bit uh, similar, but I will show you the different in the next course. And also we have these different view in the same scenario, okay? So you can see when I stretch the angle, it will show with the same scenario. So that's also can be set in our editor, okay? And as also you can see in here, you can just share with the QR code or the link. So you can share this project to your clients and the users. Okay, that's what we can do with the uh, walkthrough. So let's just open. After you render with some panoramas, you can choose one of these and go to the editor. So as you can see in this page, on our left side is our setting panel. So you can see we have these global setting, beautify, hotspot. So I will introduce one by one. So let's see the first one, global settings. The first one, the lens settings. So you can change the perspective ranges for the users. Like you can choose the nearest or the farthest for the perspective range. If you change the range, you can see there's no change in this view but you can see when you input number like 100 then you can see the view change uh, so you can just change a little bit if you want to change the range okay and also we have this vertical viewing angle view limit which means you are from the maximum to the minimum okay so that's the so normally you can just use the default setting Let's see the next one, the switch setting. So you can see after we open this auto rotation, this scenario will just auto rotate it by itself. Okay. 
and also we have this hotspot default display if you uh, open it you can see these uh, hotspots show in this scenario and also we have this product price if you open it it will show with this product price on the left corner and also we can uh, we can start with opening animation if you choose the s row you can choose the s row opening or the horizon opening so that's two different opening animation and let's see next one the beautifies so as i mentioned the beautifies you can apply with different filters like you can choose these filters to create different style of the scenario pictures and also you can just adjust with the parameters it's very convenient if you think this rendering is not good enough you can change these parameters in here okay and also you can save as a template if you want and okay so that's for the beautify and let's see the hotspot so next part is hotspot so the hotspot means you can add some labels in this scenario so these labels will represent different information like so click new hotspot you can change different type of this hotspot so if i choose the text and mate and also you can change the style for this icon input information and click save it so as you can see there is no uh there is no hotspot so you need to open it in here all right in the switch setting you can open this hotspot default display and then you go into stretch to drag this hotspot at the right position okay and then and and then let's create a new hotspot let's create a uh, hotspot with image so we can click and then we can input name of the hotspot and can you choose the style of the icon okay normally you can just uh, upload from your computer or you can choose these pictures from your renderings okay maybe i want to choose from my rendering and i can click save it i can just drag this small icon in here so as you can see if i click this small icon i cannot see the pictures or the information right so you can click save go to preview then you can see this change in this editor okay so we can just click this hotspot and you can see we can show with these pictures and also click it with nice uh, with with this information okay so that's what you can see after you set up with these features you can add with other hotspot like you can add with the link the audio and the video as you want okay uh, after we set up with the hotspot let's see the music settings so we can add some background music when the users open this page you know when they walk through this scenario and we'll show, play it with this music okay so you can just choose from our system and also you can just uh, upload from your computer okay just make sure you got the authorization uh, if you upload this music then let's see the panorama sharing so in here you can set expiration time if you want if you don't want others to see this scenario maybe two days later you can just set to 28 expiration time so that's the expiration time okay and also you can describe in here and also you can see we have different share method you can share with the poster and qr code or the link if you want that's for the sharing and also we have this product replacement our product option when you open this product replacement you can see uh we have 10 options for you but you need to minus the default product because uh, that that means you can only have nine uh, options for replace okay uh, replace this product by upload from your enterprise catalog so you can click to add product replacement and click confirm then 
you can go to rendering. So just after wait a minute and then you can save it. And then we can go to preview. And we can open this product hotspot, click it. And as you can see, there is no option for replace. If you replace this product and it will take some time to rendering, okay? We can go back later to see the difference, okay? And then after we, after we set up with the product replacement, so let's just move to the next part, the scenario marketing. So the scenario marketing support to display scenes on the same screen. You can compare the same effects of real or virtual views and different style of spaces in a single space walk through a view. Okay. So you can see we can name of this button like, and also you can choose the button icon, different style. Okay. And also you can just upload by yourself. We also need to set up for another thing, like you can upload, we can, we have two different options for you to upload. First one is the fish eye diagram, as you can see in this small picture. And also we have this six hydrant uh, diagram in here, which means you, you need to upload six pictures. And also you can just choose one of the panorama. Okay, click the, panorama that you want to upload and which means you need to upload another panorama with the same angle okay so you can just choose this one click confirm and then you can save it okay so we can go to preview and then you can click this this small icon then you can see we have these two different project they are display at the same uh, screen right so let's see our next part it's our style substitution so we can go to create style substitution name it and also choose the bottom of the style okay so we can upload the product from our enterprise catalog okay so you can choose the default one click confirm and then you can add style for substitution then you need to select the scenario that you want to associate choose this one and click confirm then you can upload for another uh, product and then you click confirm click save then we got this replacement okay then we save it go to preview So you can see we can just click this hotspot that then there's option for us we can just choose for another product so that's for the, the style replacement and also you can just change for textures and materials if you want okay so that's for the style replacement and also let's see uh, we've just finished our product hotspot right you can just change from another chair and click replace then we'll replace for another uh, product if you want so you may be wondering what's the difference between the product replacement and the style replacement so the product replacement is you can just choose the different product from your enterprise catalog and as you can see, there is a number limit. You can only uh, choose nine at maximum number for the products. Okay. And that's for the product replacement. And as for the style repl replacement, you can upload like the models or the textures for the hot furnishing, for the floor, and for the walls if you want. Okay. So that's the first one. And also, uh, for 
the style replacement, you need to rendering for different panoramas so that you can change the styles, which means you need to go to the design editor and replace the models to render different panoramas with the same angle. Okay, so that's the biggest difference. As for product replacement, you don't need to replace, you don't need to render different panoramas, but for style replacement, you need to render different panoramas. Okay, so that's the difference between these two features. And just remember, let's see next part for 720 degree VR tool. So you may be wondering what's the difference for the light one and a smart one. So let's see the difference. The light one is you can jump into different rooms and support multi-floor tools. And you can support faster speed, low computer performance requirement, and more compat compatible with the browsers. As for smart one, you can just you can just go to the different rooms by walkthrough, okay? And it support location lines and with the dimension, okay? And it support location lines and it's better transition of effects, okay? And also you can generate different tools according to your pref preference. So let's see how to create a VR tool. So we can click and choose, maybe you can choose uh, several panoramas and it's better you can just choose from different position so we will get a better view for the whole VR tour okay if you choose after you choose several panorama and you can click generate so we can go into see the VR tool so you can open the floor plan. So we, as you can see, we have these two points. Okay, so that's for the 720 degree VR tool. So you can just jump into different position then you will show with these panoramas. Okay. And as for the editor, they are follow the same logic. You know, you can set the same effect in 720 degree VR tool. So, so that's all for today's class and you can try to create a uh, walkthrough by using the editor functions, okay? So that's all for today's class. Thank you.